Hey, welcome to Toast Thoughts of a Starter TV. Now, I know you're up to speed, but just in case you're not, um, about a week ago, NBA Young Boy's Houston crib was broken into. Now, since then, he's been in the news, okay? Now, uh, for one, he just had two kids this week, which is, you know, congratulations. Um, other than that, you know, he's kind of had altercations with the, the, uh, the fools who broke into his crib, the gentleman who broke into his crib and had the audacity to record it and put it online now they say that they got off with like his car keys some a couple umbrellas for his uh his rolls royce and and just other things like that now young boy said hey man listen you ain't getting nothing you might have got twenty dollars out the the uh the cup holder in my car or the middle console you ain't get shit now Anything in Houston is going to be addressed by Jay Prince, right? Now, Jay Prince took it upon himself to get the items that were stolen, retrieved, and then gets online and tells NBA young boy, basically, I got your stuff, young boy, um, come pick it up, come get it, get in contact with me, come get your shit. Now, if this were a situation involving any other rapper besides NBA young boy, I believe that Jay Prince would have gotten his fetish for respect fulfilled but this is nba young boy and he he ain't uh-uh okay it, it ain't that easy with him now he gets online and he responds and basically tells him that he doesn't respect the way that he came at young boy publicly and he said that you could have done all this behind the scenes and you basically you're doing it for, for clout and for attention now Jay Prince, he didn't like that claim, so he basically responds, okay, now, he gets on the phone, sounds a little kind of scary, right, you know, he gets on the phone, he sounds like a fucking mob don or a fucking big meat talking on the phone from prison, now, he basically says, listen, nigga, you knew exactly what was going on because I spoke to your people, um, because remember, NBA young boy said that, dog, you know there's plenty niggas around me that you could have gotten in contact with and now basically jay prince is saying i did get in contact with someone around you i got in contact with your brother og33 now 33 um allegedly he knew that jay prince was getting the stuff back behind the scenes and that um jay prince was gonna get on social media and use that platform to talk to nba young boy to get his shit back and yeah Okay, so that's basically what is being claimed by Jay Prince. Now, what do you think about this? Is Jay Prince lying or is is NBA Youngboy and 3-3 lying? Now, if Jay Prince is lying, he, he could be like doing the fucking old divide and conquer trick, the old divide and conquer tactic. We'll see if that works. I'm not sure. Now, 3-3 could have been lying, right? NBA Youngboy and 3-3 could have been lying. I don't know. All right. I'm, 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 I'm as confused as you all are. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. What do you think will amount to this? What do you think was going to come from this? Do you think young boy and Jay Prince will just sit down and talk it out? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I'm gone. And it's for weakness because you're a dumb boy with limited thinking ability and disrespectful. You're talking slick and acting like you. And your brother wasn't down with me letting it be known you were mob ties connected. But I talked to your brother, and I believe every word he said about you knowing because he's been solid with me. I've known your brother for years and never witnessed no weak shit. So, OG3, we good. But you seem to be dumber than a box of rocks, so you despise wisdom. What you should be mad about is the lie you live in and the weak-ass security being asleep in front of your house. I bet he lied to you about being asleep. That's free game. I just gave you, but it probably...